You ask me. Hey, why you bring checkbook? Checkbook, make a guess. I want to buy my number one new launch for 2023. So I'm going to buy many, many units. So you want to know more? Follow me. I will show you where's my number one new launch. Scary, yeah. There's so many people there. Come on, let's go. I show you. Uh, later at the closing area, then I tell you what we buy, okay? Thank you, supporter. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I must thank my YouTube supporter. You only bankers, find them. You see their face, support them. <laughs> Before we continue, remember to like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's go! So many of you asking me, Grand Diamond, Grand Diamond, Grand Diamond, by Singhai E Group, 1008 units, TOP roughly in 2027. When is the last time we have such a mega project? Mega project means more than 1000 units. La. I think it's back in like two years ago, 2021, we have Normentum Park. And that's all. And fast forward more than two years right now, 2023, we then have the next mega project, which is Grand Dunman. Now let's recap how much Singhai bought the land for back in 2nd June 2022. I know the date very well. I share with you shortly. Singhai bought the land for 1.284 million. Pui, sorry, is billion. I remember when I saw this news, I was walking around Icon Siam in Bangkok shopping with my wife. Then we went to J5. Whoa, you see how she cooked the wok, okay? Uh, we ordered all this delicious food. Oh, super good, man. Especially this one, the crab meat or mullet. Next, we also went to this Somsak Best Tang Hun Clay Pot Seafood. Oh, yo. You see how he cooked? Perfect. Super bouncy. Oh, yo. Well, look at the crab roll, man. If you want to know where to eat this, I will put at the comment section below. Finally, we go to Corgi Garden and take photo with all these fur balls. And I so excited that Xiang He got the land. Then I read further, there are only two bids for the land. The second bidder bidded. 20.3% lower. Oh, if Sing Hai Yi didn't bid up for the land, we have 20% more chance of getting a better deal. Anyway, I forgotten who's the second bidder already. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like that, ma. In all competition, everyone only know the champion. Who cares about who is in second place? Per square feet per plot ratio at 1350 per square feet, which is the market rate for city fringe prices in 2022. Because CDL also bought Tembusu Grant for 1300 plus. Ma. With 15% profit margin, it will be at 2220 per square feet. And today's seller's market, they will sell at least 2003 to 2004 per square feet. Ma. And I really hope they sell as low as possible. La, oh. Usually for mega projects, if the developer didn't sell off within a certain time frame, they will gonna ABSD on the entire land. Developers usually give chance by not selling too high. And let's hope 2023 is a good year for everyone. So guys, the 10,000 of you, please go and say good things. Singhai Yi is the best. Singhai Yi, you very good. Singhai Yi, you got good heart. Singhai Yi, please make us a giant huakui in three to four years. This is the location for Grand Dunman. So if you see beside, is your Dakota MRT station. It's super near lah. Don't need to walk. You just crawl can already. This is the site plan. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Today I good mood. Let me use my drone to show you the view. Ah. Wow, the drone very difficult to control. Ah. But anyway, like this is Grand Dunman. So for the stacks in front, you can see the Langkau and some unblocked view ah, because the buildings here are quite short. Ah. Okay, ah. okay, let's go to the right side. Ay. Okay, so the right side looks like that. Ah. And look at the back. Ayo. Ah, you see Sports Hub there? 
Whoop, turn around, turn around, wait lah. Okay, let's go in front. Uh, on the right side here, you can see it's water bank at Dakota. So this one, the highest floor should be 20 over floor. So let's say same view at Dunman side. Ah, uh, you can see unblocked view. You have a lot of landed properties here. And let's do some turning. Uh. Turning, turning. Uh, so you can also see some sea view now. Okay, let's fly higher. Uh, looks nice, ah. Huh? Hey, Jala, no battery already. Boom. Crash. Guys, please sponsor me new drone, okay? Now, let's look at the site plan again. Everyone, I saw this thing, ah. Uh. It's a concern to me, leh. Do you know which one or not? This swimming pool, ah. Uh, is going to be shared by 1,000 units. Let's say there are average four people in each unit. 4,000 people. Let's say there's a public holiday called the swimming pool day. This place will be totally flooded and it will look like this. Which is very dangerous. I remember the last mega project that I supported. Treasure at Tampanese. Yes, it is the biggest project in Singapore with 2,203 units. I think so. They have 11 swimming pools. Since grand number is 1,000 units, it should be half of treasure. You should have five swimming pools. Okay, la, not so fair to say like that. La. But never mind. I also saw another project which is about the same size like Grand Diamond. Also in, on the east side, Sims Urban Oasis. 1,024 units. They have two giant swimming pools. Eh. So I scared Grand Dunman pool ah, become black color, you know. The good news to you, I have two good solutions. Number one, since you are going to stay at Grand Dunman, you just need to walk to your left. You can go to Water Bank at Dakota to swim. You see, they got one, two, maybe three swimming pool. If not, you can walk further down to Dakota residences. Also got like two swimming pool, one, two. And the best, you go to Tiam Shiu over here, which is Continuum, to swim in their swimming pool. Because only 26.5% bought Continuum. Since not many people swim there, you can swim there. La. I guess there got two, three more swimming pools for you. This is solution one. I have the second solution. You have Singapore first one kilometer swimming pool just beside Grand Dunman called Geylang River. This project I like the most uh, is this one. Eh. You condo, you walk down, uh, you can walk down here. Eh. Then you can swim, eh. you can swim, you can canoe all the way to CBD to work. Come, I show you. It's really connected to CBD. Hey, this is your Grand Diamond. You come in, you can follow this Geylang River. You canoe, you swim, you take speedboat, you will go down, you pass by ECP, turn right, go to the float at Marina Bay. Then you see you reach the pier already, which is beside is your raffle space already. Oh. So you can alight here. How good, no jam, don't need to squeeze with people MRT. This is another perfect way to reach your office in style. Now let's look at the unit mix. Again, I will assume people will buy one and two beta is for investment and there are 49% of them. 345 betas will be 51%. Very good. That means that this developer built this project not only for investment base but also wants to attract families to stay here, which is good. Now let's look at the floor plan and my indicative average per square feet. And let's see whether this project can help you be a giant Huawei in three to four years time. We have a special guest. Bomb, bomb, carry. Tell everyone this is your number one new launch. Is this your number one new launch? Woof, woof. Do like me, right? Kiss, kiss. Everyone, I know more than ten thousand of you are waiting for my review. But I am waiting for one developer to come out their indicative price. I wait, 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 wait la, until I have a lot of beard already. La. So guys, for this review, I will just be sharing my indicative price. 
I don't have the starting price, so let's go with this way lah ho. I'll give you my average price per square feet one by one. First one, one beta, 452 square feet. This is a very common layout. It's a good size. Average 2,500 per square feet. Estimated average 1.13 million. And before we continue on the two beta, you know I don't like two bed one bath. And this development has the biggest two bed one bath. So after I saw this, it pissed me off. 667 square feet. Why you build so big? Because usually two bed one bath is about 624, 635 square feet. I want to remind you again, every 50 square feet difference in city fringe area is 120,000 more. My estimated average 2,450 per square feet, average 1.63 million. So if two bed one bath is 667 square feet, then how big is two bed two bath? Who cares about two bed one bath, right? So now, my favorite. I'm gonna buy two bed two bath. <laughs> Even with ABSD, I also buy. Nah, take my check. Uh, there's no two bed, two bath. Huh? No two bed, two bath? Yeah. I'm very sad leh. I waited for one year from Bangkok all the way to Singapore. Your two bed, one bath giant ah. Never mind. You don't have two bed, two bath. How can? Now you can do this. How can? Wow. Super disappointed. Eh. You know how many people like two bed, two bath lot? It's easy to buy. Lower entry. Easy to digest. Easy to rent out. Easy to exit with a good profit. It will be just like Sims Urban Oasis. The one that I shared with you just now. It's a six year old project. Very near to Aljunia MRT station. The whole freaking project has 1,024 units. They only have the same thing, two bed, one bath. At least their two bed, one bath is six, two, four square feet. And likewise, they don't have two bed, two bath. They only got two bedroom to work in. They are like that, how to be my number one project for 2023? Headache leh. Two bedroom to work in, seven to one square feet. You can stay here, rent out here. If not, you can stay here, rent out here. Average 2,450 per square feet. Average 1.76 million. Let's talk about exit strategy for two bedroom dual key. You can only sell to singles or maximum young couple. Small families cannot even stay inside. Ma. So your targeted group to sell is not as big as two bed, two bath. So the next thing I hope uh, is a good two plus study size, which is around seven. 34753 three square feet, 775, which is okay. Two bed plus study, 775 square feet. Finally, this is okay. Come in, you have your open concept kitchen, queen, king, one study, two toilet. Average 2004 per square feet, estimated average 1.86 million. Aya, who cares about two bed, two bath? Don't buy already. Eh. Let's go into something good, which I hope three bed, two bath, three bed, three bath is great or even the 4 bidder. Now let's look at 3 2. 9 2 6 square feet. Usually it's 883, 893, 904, 915. So at 9 2 6, okay, not too bad. When you come in, you have your enclosed kitchen, very good. This one definitely you can walk hey, because you have a window here. And let's look at the room size. Queen, queen, king. Estimated average 2380 per square feet at 2.2 million. Very good, very good. At least this one I like. I know they have other sizes, 936, 958. The only difference is a slightly bigger walkway. The next bigger layout, it is not 3-3. They have a three bedroom dual key, which is interesting because Waterbank and Dakota, their dual key is 1281 square feet. The last transactor is about 2.2 to 2.25 million for a 10 year old project. 1044 square feet. When you enter the foyer, you have your one bedder to rent out. And for the two bedder, you have an open concept kitchen. That means you cannot walk here. Lah. And you have the two toilet. Average 2,400 per square feet. Average at 2.5 million. Seldom three bedroom dual key got three toilet one. So this one, good. You have two toilet at the two bedder and one toilet at the one bedder. Lah. If you buy dual key, the intention is to rent out the one bedder so you can stay for free. Even better, to be more savvy, you can stay the one bedder and rent out the two bedder. It's like staying for free because your tenant will pay at least the interest portion for you. Three bed, three bath. I like. Let's look at the size. 1098 square feet. You have a slightly big entrance. Without this, the size should be around 1055 or 1066 square feet. You have an enclosed kitchen. Uh, means you can walk here because got a window over here. 
You have yard, you have the third toilet, the storeroom can be converted to a study room. Room size, queen, queen, king. Average 2,380 per square feet at 2.61 million. Next, they have a slightly better size, which is their 3 plus study. 1,119 square feet. Average at 2,360 per square feet at 2.64 million. And I like their 4 bedder size. 4 bed, 4 bath, 1,292 2 square feet. Average 2,350 per square feet at 3.03 million. 5 bed, 5 bath, 2,217 square feet. My average 2,250 per square feet. Average 4.98 million. Lastly, the power penthouse. 2,336 square feet is a 5 bedroom penthouse. My average, I guess, is about 5.18 million at 2,220 per square feet. Look at this block, this gold color one. Uh. It's for rich people. Uh. So if you are poorer, you buy the Oh. Now let's talk about school. This project definitely has one kilometer to Guanghua Primary, which is a very good school. I don't think they are within one kilometer to Hate Girls. And lastly, for Tanjong Katong Primary School, I think only half or three quarters of the project will have one kilometer. Let me show you my magic circle. Tanjong Katong Primary is here. After putting in my one kilometer magic circle, you can see that part of the project doesn't have one kilometer to Tanjong Katong Primary. Now let's zoom in. After I overlay the site plan, if we zoom in, we can see that this is within one kilometer. The rest are not. This is just a guess. Don't just base on my circle to determine which stack has or without one kilometer to Tanjong Katong Primary. Now we come to the most important part of the video. Can you make money by buying Grand Dunman? What are the good resale projects to compare to see whether Grand Dunman entry price is good or not? The first one being Dakota Residences completed 2010. And the second one which is the newest property here, Waterman at Dakota completed in 2013. Now let's look at Dakota Residences. Dakota Residences 2010, 3, 4, 8 units. If Grand Dunman is going to complete 4 years later, Dakota Residences will be 17 years old. Resale volume very healthy. This is their tree beta and is transacted at 1,660 per square feet. And we have another one at 1,600 plus per square feet at 2.2 million. And we have bigger size at 1,700 square feet. 17 years gap should be around 8 to 900 per square feet difference. Let's say we add 800 per square feet. Grand Dunman should be selling at 2,005 per square feet. 2,005 is too expensive lah. Oh. Now let's go for a second example which is Waterbank and Dakota. Okay, Waterbank and Dakota, 2013-616 units, which is 10 years old now. By the time Grand Dunman is done, this project will be 14 years old. 14 years old difference should be about 600 to 700 per square feet difference. Wow, look at the resale transaction, very healthy. There's a lot of them. This is a very big tree bader with patio size. This is a tree bedroom dual key, sold near 2006 per square feet. To have apple to apple comparison, let's compare their three bed three bath. This is their three bed three bath transacted two thousand per square feet, two point two nine five million. This is another one three bed three bath, one thousand nine hundred fifty per square feet, two point three million. Three bed three bath, two point two million. Three bed three bath, two point two five million. And you can see that it's roughly around two thousand per square feet. So if Grand Dunman is selling at two thousand five, it's actually a decent price. But in today's market, I don't think people can digest two thousand five for a brand new launch in City Fringe. If you want to compare something newer, let's look at Park Esta, which is one year old. Beside you know MRT station, Park Esta, two o two two mega project, one three nine nine units. Their 1119 square feet is transacted near to 2002 per square feet at 2.45 million. We have another one, 2100 plus at 2.4 million. Let's say Grand Dunman is selling at 2.6 million. 200,000 gap for 5 years. By now, you should know which one is better. Now, let's look at their 3 bed 2 bath. You can see that 926, 3 bed 2 bath, 2001 per square feet, 1.94. 926, 2001, 1.95. Somebody bought super high price at 2.16 million. Now I'll show you what is Hua Kui and Cai Tao by showing you their profitability. 926 transacted at market value 1.9 plus million made 411,000. 958 
made 600,000. The seller, Giant Huawei, the buyer, gigantic Cai Tao. Ah. Like that, you as well buy brand new, right? This year, ah, is kind of challenging. It's very hard to decide my number one new launch. How I wish this year, the location is like Grand Dunman. The floor plan, like the Miss. The launch pricing, like Far East, who sold below their indicative price on launch day. If we combine these three, how good is that? But too bad, life is like that. So now, let's summarize. For location, number one, I like MRT station. Number two, you have one kilometer to good schools. And number three, people who buy here will be fed because you have a lot of food at old airport hawker center. You can eat all of them and be a fatty bomb bomb. So for that, I'll give 8.5. Launch pricing. It is a good project. The disappointment is actually they don't have two bed two bath and their two bed one bath piss me off. They built gigantic one. So the only one that you can buy two plus study, three bed two bath, three bed three bath plus storeroom or three bed three bath plus study. Four bedder is nice. I won't suggest five bedder. The good entry for three bedder, if you can get 2,300 plus per square feet, my launch pricing will be an eight. As a strategy, this is so important and you have it in this area. Everyone, can you see where is your exit strategy? It is the people staying here. Dakota Breeze. All these are multi-million flats that they will MOP in four years time, which is just in time when Grand Dunman TOP. That means all these HDB upgraders, they make double from their BTO price when they buy in. Then it's very easy for them to upgrade to somewhere near where they stay. This is one of the very important exit strategy that most projects don't have. For that, I'll give an 8. Overall service score, 8.2 stars. So therefore, this is my number one new launch in 2023. But developer, I hope you are watching this video. Please give everyone a chance. La. Sell around 2-3 per square feet. It's totally great for everyone. Developer happy, buyer happy, banker happy, lawyers happy, everyone happy. Isn't this great? Okay, now let's have some fun. Why is the estimator sold on launch day? 40%, my wife at 45%. Hey guys, this is a giant project. Ah. The cutoff date is by next Tuesday. For those of you who wants to know your loan affordability, whether you can enter this project or not, you can contact 86060670. And guys, I want to give you one more bonus. I have a mortgage firm. We are tied to all the banks in Singapore and I am able to give you the best interest rate in the market. You can go through our appointed bankers and I'll give you a very big gift for the first five buyers. For those of you who are not ready, not in time, you have an MOP, you can't rush into this project, don't worry la. Sure have balance units la. Guys, I hope you like this video and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in my next video.